Hi, Rob Lamb from Newfound Strength. Today we're going to give you a self-resistance stretch which is going to activate your thymus gland by stretching the thymus meridian. So when we say meridian, maybe you'll think of acupuncture. So in acupuncture, you know that they use needles to work in areas in the body called meridians. And a meridian isn't any specific thing that you can see. And it is just an area where the through traditional Chinese medicine that they've learned if they put needles through a certain meridian in the body, let's say the thymus meridian, they can actually affect the well-being of the thymus gland, help bring up its activity, help you out. So today we're going to work on the thymus meridian as it works, runs through the back of the shoulder. So it does come down the back of the head, comes out through the back of the, through the shoulders, and comes down through the arms. And we're going to specifically be looking to target it in the back of the shoulder. So let's get started. Uh, now let's talk a quick little bit about uh, most people have a, a lack of shoulder mobility. We're going to be finishing off in a position that's going to be about here. Uh, we're going to start with the hands kind of wide. We're going to work our way in repetition by repetition. You have to go uh, as it feels okay to you. Uh, don't, don't hurt yourself. Of course, we need to go slow. The f most people actually go too fast. We need to start a little bit light. Most people tend to put too much force into it in the beginning. Uh, if you've never done this before, and if you haven't seen this, then you probably haven't done it. You need to go very slow. You need to go lightly. You need to feel it out. You need to assess how your shoulders are doing. And you need to listen to your intuition. So, and then if, as everything is fine, you can increase the intensity. Uh, you will never increase the speed. You will always be going slow. Uh, the distance. In the beginning, you might start, you're going, we're going to start here. You might only get to this distance, right? Later on, 25, 45 reps later, you might be up here, you might not be, okay? So everybody's going to be at, move at their own pace. Some equipment we're going to need. We're going to need something that's maybe about hip height is, is pretty good. A little bit higher would be okay. Uh, let's use a, a towel to help us out. And uh, we're going to, uh, this is also helpful because we're going to be pulling apart as we're pulling down, all right? So uh, let's look at posture. So you're going to try to uh, maintain as good of posture as you go from the beginning to the end, all right? So we're not going to have any rounding of the back at any time. You might have to adjust the width of your feet to help loosen up your hips so you can move better. All right, we're going to be, all right, uh, just listen to your body. So how are we going to start? We're going to grab this towel. We're going to straighten out our arms. We're not going to have any flexion bending of the elbow. We're going to straighten out our arms. We're going to put our arms on the table, the back of the couch, whatever we've got going on. We're going to pull our stiff arms down into the table. I'm pulling apart, right? You'll always keep your towel tight. And I am going to, my feet are spread out front to back. You can see my legs have a little bit of a spread. I am going to be pulling down with my arms, which should pull my hips forward, but my legs are going to overpower that. So my arms are going to have to resist what my shoulders are doing. And this is going to happen to my arms. My arms are going to want to be trying to do this, but my legs are going to overpower it. And my arms are going to finish off up here. Here we go. So my long, stiff arms, straight arms are locked out. I am pulling down firmly right now. I am pulling the towel apart. I'm slowly walking my feet back. I'm keeping my arms stiff and straight. I'm feeling it through my triceps. I'm feeling it through the back of my shoulder. I'm feeling it in areas around my scapula because those are all parts that are just a little bit tight on me. I'm coming down. I'm listening to my, my body telling me, oh, there I'm hitting a really bad spot in my shoulder. And I've got to go really slow, extra slow through that. And then that's right about there where my body said, stop. Come back up. <sighs> Loosen up a little bit. Maybe you were holding your breath. Catch your breath. Let's do it again. Every time you do another rep, just see if you can make it a little bit better. I'm going to stiffen up my arms. I'm going to engage down into the table. I've got my feet spread and big tall posture. I've got my head on straight. Don't have my head way down. Don't have my head up in the air. I'm slowly stepping my feet back. I'm keeping my arms stiff. I'm also actually pressing out to actually, as if I was trying to get my hands away from me while I pull down into the table. 
I'm going slow. I'm getting close to that spot where I know my shoulder has got a really bad spot from an injury and I have to go extra slow almost to the point where it might look like I'm not moving and I'm going down. I'm still pulling down through my arms. I have to, I lighten up a little bit when I get to that really bad spot and I got past it and I get going further. I keep going and then I would move my hands closer, do some reps. I would move my hands closer. Eventually, I would like to see your hands really close. And of course, you, you have to listen to your body. And I'm going to stiffen up my arms, straighten them out, bring my chest up to have some good posture, lock out my arms, and I'm pulling the towel apart the entire 100% of the time. I am trying to pull my hands down through the table as if I was trying to pull myself forward with my arms. Again, it's the back of the arms, the triceps, the rear shoulder, the rear delt. I'm feeling it in a little bit around areas in my scapula. And all those areas are just getting comfortably stretched out. Now, let's talk about intensity level. If you're feeling like, wow, this is really intense, is you can tolerate it and it feels like it's still a decent stretch, you're doing okay. If it's really intense and you're feeling like, huh, this is what I call pain, you're probably going too hard. You might be going too fast. Those are the common issues. You might have gone uh, too far with too much intensity. Lighten up. You're in charge. Nobody said you have to hurt yourself, okay? So this has been a self-resistant stretch. Uh, if you'd like this, look through the rest of the videos at, uh, on the channel. Please subscribe, click the bell, and make sure it says all so you get notified when I make new videos. And if this showed you that you have a really serious problem with your shoulder, lack of mobility, um, or maybe something else showed, showed up, contact me, reach out to Newfound Strength, and we will fix you up so you can bring your arms comfortably up to here, and your back would be nice and straight, and you'd be comfortable, and you'd be able to do that with a smile on your, on your face. Thanks so much. Have a great day.